Greetings, this is Jerry Revere of the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Team. Today our video will be provisioning IP addressing parameters using the CLI of the H248 branch gateway. Provisioning IP parameters from the CLI of the H248 branch gateway. The agenda for this video will include both initial provisioning of the IPv4 and IPv6 addressing via the command line interface. The steps that will be shown will get the system to the network and to provide connectivity to the communication manager server. The setup will start after the mandatory password change has been made to the root login. Let's start defining the network parameters. To define the IP addressing, you must enter a VLAN context. For the video today, we'll be using VLAN 1. The ICC VLAN command defaults to VLAN 1, and that will not have to be entered in this demonstration. However, if another VLAN is used, the ICC VLAN command will need to be entered in that new VLAN context. From the CLI command prompt, enter the VLAN context by entering the command interface VLAN 1. Enter the IP address command shown to set the IPv4 address and its netmask. Define the primary management interface, PMI. The gateway will issue a response that the primary management interface has changed. Please copy the running configuration to the startup configuration file and reset the device. To do that, you must type exit to go to the general context and then issue the command copy running config to startup config. This will save the configuration to non-volatile RAM. The configuration has now been saved to NVRAM. Perform the gateway reset by entering the command reset and confirm it by entering a Y and enter. We will continue after the gateway has restarted. We have now re-logged into the CLI after the completion of the reset just performed. To verify the previous work, enter the command show running config. Highlighted on the screen is the interface VLAN 1 context. Note the parameters shown. The next step is to define the default gateway on the device. The system can now communicate off the local network. IPv6 has to be provisioned in the same context as what we just provisioned for IPv4. We need to go back into that context to continue that provisioning. Enter the VLAN context of VLAN 1. IPv6 is provisioned with three commands in this context, but must be entered in the proper order as each builds upon the previous. Enter your IPv6 address. This command defines the address and mask of the IPv6 interface. Enter the IPv6 admin state up command. This enables the interface to become active and to carry traffic. Enter PMI6, which tells the gateway to pass IPv6, H248 traffic, and VoIP traffic over this interface. Enter the exit command to go back to the general context. The last command is to allow the gateway to pass IPv6 traffic. That would be to enable the IPv6 default gateway. Enter the command IPv6 default gateway followed by the gateway's address. Let's look at the last work we performed. Highlighted is the interface VLAN 1 context. We see the IPv4 and IPv6 addressing that was provisioned and the two additional commands to enable IPv6 traffic on this interface. Going down the screen, we see the IPv4 and IPv6 default gateways. The final thing left to do is to set the MGC list 
to allow the gateway to register to Communication Manager. To set the MGC list, use the command set MGC list followed by the IP address of the Communication Manager server. I have intentionally used only the IPv6 address to illustrate that the gateway will register to the PROC R6 interface within CM. To validate the registration, enter the command show MGC. As shown, the device is registered. The active controller is the IPv6 address ending in colon 10, which is the PROC R6 address of the CM server. Also note the CLI prompt has filled in the 001, which is the gateway number assigned in CM, another notation that the gateway properly registered. Finally, to save our work today, Enter the copy running config to startup config command. As this operation completes, I want to say this concludes the IPv6, IPv4, CLI command parameters. Thank you for your time today. We hope this information was useful. We welcome your comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at avaya mentor. Thank you for choosing avaya.